So now that we've seen how to set it up on the server side, let's go ahead and talk about the Macintosh user's perspective. So the first way of accessing the DFS namespace is using the Extremes EIP Zigit, which is a dashboard widget. So let me go ahead and bring that up using F12, same way you bring up any other dashboard widget. Navigate to Group Logic Production DFS case files, which I showed you before that we set up on the server side. Hit return, and it'll automatically mount that SharePoint. For users who don't want to use the dashboard widget, which is fully compatible with 10.4 and 10.5, there's another method if you are on 10.5. We can hit Command K, navigate uh, to our Extreme GIP server, and that SharePoint called Group Logic slash Production DFS. When I hit Connect, then I can get to my case files that way as well. The third method is home directories, which requires a small client be installed on the Macintosh, uh, but thereafter allows the Mac to automatically access DFS home directories. No matter what method you choose, you get all of the features of DFS, the ability to replace a DFS target with a target on a completely different server, site costing, all those things are built into our solution here. If you have any additional questions or even in feedback on what you would like to see different about this feature, please feel free to email us at dfs at grouplogic.com. Thank you very much.